man of God that you are watching me, before you can go to another level, or before your ministry can progress, there are many men of God that can inbox us and tell us, the pastor, help us so that my ministry to grow. Are you ready to face the crisis? That sounds strange already. It's like um, the growth is determined by God, isn't it? And But with these guys, it's like there's a formula. It's because of all these things, crowd puller that uh, Nanapoku was talking about and all that kind of stuff, it, it makes sense. These people are so far from the idea of wanting to serve God. We Some people think maybe these people are just mistaken. No, these people know exactly. To them, it's like business. Are you ready to face the disgrace? Disgrace. That's a sign of initiation. That's what they do to you when, when you are being initiated. The language tells you, you know, as it says, by their fruit. There are two fruits, by the way. There is the fruit that you see in Galatians, which is the, the fruit of a disciple. And then there is the second one, which is the fruit of uh, their tongue. They say, the, do trees... Do thorns give uh, uh, birth to, 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 to grapes? No. Which is what? What comes out of their mouth? The, the man's speech is telling you. Are you ready to face the disgrace? That's initiation language. Are you ready to face the challenges? Because not any pastor that has a crowd, a lot of people are in the church know the situation he passed through. Because anybody hmm, that you have a mantle, you have to be ready for battle. Write it down. Me. I always say, if your pastor, you watch me and you want me to help you in your ministry, for your ministry to grow, for you to get eyes to see. And for that one, pastor, if your pastor, you're watching me, for that one, I swear, I dare you. Hmm? If your pastor, you're watching me, that you want God to pass through me, for your eyes to open, for your ministry to grow, I dare you, for me to open your eyes. It's, it's a fact, I swear. I can open your eyes within a second for you. That's initiation language. This idea that he's going to open your eyes. It means passing, it's called passing through the fire, basically. It's, it's forbidden. You know, the, the Bible talks about it. You know, do not make your, your child to go through the fire. This idea of going through uh, shameful tribulation. Now, we're not talking about uh, tribulation that we face as believers. No. We're talking about shameful initiation processes. That's what he's talking about. His language. Uh, I can open your eye. Yes, to what? That's why there was a movie called Eyes Wide Shut. Uh, Eyes Wide Shut. I'm not advising you to go watch it. It's very R-rated and whatnot. But the, the film was about initiation. And the brotherhood goes through initiation. Pastor, yes, I'm telling you. And I always tell them that if you're a pastor, you're watching that you want me to help you for your ministry to grow. One thing that you're a pastor, you need to know. Don't let me teach you what is called giving, how to submit. Because if you're a pastor, you're a man of God, you're watching that, you say, Pastor, man of God, open my eyes. You have to know that when you're contacting me, you sow a seed. You sow a seed, I'm telling you. That's an initiation fee. Even the Masons have one. You sow a seed. The Namibia pastor that I help you right now, uh, he's in Namibia breaking through. He's, the crowd is too much, and what is, the miracles he's doing is too much. The first time this man chat me, he sold the seed of ten thousand dollars, mm, close to two hundred thousand rand. So it costs if you were, <laughs> it costs close to one hundred and seventy thousand rands in order to buy this initiation into this fake. What jazz that they are doing over here? This is diabolic. Let me let me tell you now what you'll get. You'll get nothing but headache. It doesn't stop. You see, all these people you think they have been accused of what what what? They are not being accused. They are really into some very shady things. Some of these guys are into what is known as Ethiopian magic. Let me tell you, Ethiopian magic. It's um, it's ritual format that involves sex magic. You can Google it and look it up and whatnot. Don't go there too much. <laughs> Don't let your head go there too much because it can be very consuming. You just want to know what it is and then be, be done with it. It's sex magic. 
it's very very uh, devouring and basically what ends up happening is that it requires more and more you will hear sinister things that the pastor had sex with this child or with his daughter when you hear things like that trust me know that the person is now trying to uh, either renew or extend those type of those type of contracts once they try to get um, a renewal they don't know there is no renewal <laughs> the devil sends you into a set trap of death basically some of them they are either 10 year contracts and whatnot and stuff like that that's why i would i'm not shocked when some of these people started popping up in 2010 and now you see someone was telling me hey in my church we used to we started wearing uniforms in 2010 and now the exposures that are happening now are blasting them wide open why the contract might be finished and that's where now you start to hear very sinister things about the pastor is because at the end of it, they try to, to, to do renewals. And when they try to do renewals, it ends up leading to very sinister things. Don't go there. Don't buy these things. Because to renew, when you try to renew the requirement, it's always way more higher than what you think. The Bible says that angel of darkness has been turned into an angel of light. You will think that you are going into the right direction. You will think you are about to start glowing and whatnot. It only gets worse from there. I don't think you are gonna be. You are going to outsmart these things. These things are way more smarter than you. Okay, they've been roaming the earth for hundreds and hundreds of years. Okay, so don't think you will bypass them and just sneak around and you know I'm gonna do this and then you will not get away with it. They will make sure that you are trapped. A lot of pastors they are trapped. Unless they repent, there is no other way to go. So unfortunately, people that are not saved, they, are, they can't see past the materialistic aspect of things. They only see the material. And they don't know that apart from the material, these people have terrible lives. This, this guy can't come back to South Africa. He can't. Why? Because there, there are cases here. Don't try to redefine what success is by doing what Eve did. Getting into a discussion with the devil. Leave that stuff alone. It's Ricky and I'll be done.